Hello, Scott's Project and Games here. So, here, once I can close my door. Um, so, here's the deal. So, with some YouTubers, like, let's say, Scott Manley, or, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of other people who've done tutorials. Uh, well, they've done all, all of them have done docking tutorials, so, I mean, docking is extraordinarily hard for new players. Um, but, you know, what I was realizing is that they leave out a little bit. So, here's what I'm planning to do. Um, I'm going to do a docking tutorial, which, well, as my first video, as Sky's Projects and Games, that's my first video. So, yeah, I mean, for the people who watched it, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm re really happy that you guys, if you, some people watch it, I'm really happy that they watched it and hopefully liked it. If not, just tell me. So, um, what I was thinking is that the the popular YouTubers leave out a little bit, um, uh, especially coming to relative speed. So what I was thinking is that I would do all of this. I've already launched a target vehicle similar to the Gina of the um, Gemini missions. I've already launched a target vehicle. So why don't we try and dock on there, and I'll, I'll show you every single step and try and be as careful as possible. To make sure that you guys understand it the best way. Okay, so here we go, just in uh, two times building speed. Um, I used the Rhino here just because I think that engine is amazing. I really like it. It's probably my third favorite engine. Well, you know, it's one of my favorite engines. I, I, I don't really rank them, but all of them are amazing. So here we go, I'm just messing around with the Asperia staging. I am going to Asperia stage Manus, which leads into the Rhino. Now the Rhino will, I think it gets me into orbit. And I've got a Poodle Engine up top, which will be for canceling out my relative speed. Uh, that's my brother, messing around the guitar. So here we go, so, yeah, very basic stuff. Um, looks like my time's about done, so, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna launch this. I can see my target vehicles right here. Quickly switch to that. Um, so it's similar to the Gina, in well in size at least. But what I was thinking is that this would be like the start of a series, where it would be Kerbin, Moon, and Minmus, um, Moon and Minmus stations with ore miners and that stuff. And I could show you guys how to do dockings on other planets, it's really quite simple, and do all that kind of stuff, so, yeah. I know not many people will watch my videos to start out with, but, you know, hopefully a few people who do will like them. Yo, know, here's the vehicle, I've got uh, 8,050 electric charge, right, because that holds 50, oh, 30, okay, 8,030 electric charge, and I've got some of this stuff, probably there's no engines or anything like that on there. This is just kind of like a depot, and I'm thinking I'm going to build my space station out of this. I'm going to dock the, the what was it, the ship that I have down in the Kerbal Space Center right um, here or there. Speaking of which, I probably should turn this so that both the docking ports are in the light as possible. So that's pretty good. Stop, stop rotation. Okay. I'm gonna dock it here and there, and then I'm gonna later on, probably on my own time, I'm gonna send up a big ship adapter here or and some more parts, just so that we get a nice little uh, fuel station orbiting Kerbin. It's actually in quite high of an orbit. Take a look, 360 and 363. Sure, why I need such a huge lander or lander launcher. So I'm gonna switch to this and launch it. All right, so here we go. I'm just launching it. Um. I've got a target vehicle send up, like I said, in less clip. I'm launching it under power of mainsails. I've got Jeb through Bill, Jeb, Bob, and Bill. Um, so I'm just launching it. I don't know if you can hear the guitar in the background, but this is my brother, okay? So, yeah. um, I'm just pointing off to the right, hitting D key, trying to get my orbit. I'm at a little lower inclination, um, and there is it. I didn't set that as target. 
So I set that as target, and then perform my... Oh, and I wanted to end on um, the subject of docking. Docking is really pretty hard, but you'll get the hang of it. It's hard to start out, but, you know, don't worry about it, okay? You'll, you'll get it. Um, probably will take you a couple tries if you follow, um, if you follow my advice here. I'm not the best. I'm not the best YouTuber, I'm not bet the best assist program player in the world, but I do know how to dock, so, you know, if you need help, just comment it in my video, and I'll try and post a video, it, well, under my video, and I'll try and post a video answering your question, because I, I just really want to be helpful. And maneuver, here's the trick. So, click on the maneuver, right click, and then hit that plus. So, as you can see, I got myself a neat little intercept right there. 32 kilometers. That's atrocious, but we can shore that up. Come on, come on, come on. Get closer. Yeah, that's too much of a delta V requirement. So how about this one? I first, um... When I first change my plane of my, or my orbit, just make sure it's nice on the same line, and then we'll try to shoot for that uh, shoot for that um intersect. There we go. I'm moving towards it. I got a bit. I've got about half liquid fuel, so that's more than enough to get me anywhere. But I'll use that smaller poodle engine on smaller maneuvers. I might still need the big engine. Uh, the big rhino just for a few more maneuvers just in case if I have anything above say a hundred is probably too much for the poodle so I'm not going to drop this off yet look at that beautiful effect on the back just watching it slowly fall okay that's fine alright that's fine let's have more ground Ooh, 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 okay. That, that intersect. Let's take a look at that. Alright, so here I go. I'm just setting up my different nodes, trying to fiddle around with intercepts and try and get it as close as possible. It's not something you really need to see, because originally it was something like four or five minutes of me doing this. So I sped it up so you don't have to see all this boring stuff. My voice sounds hilarious. Well, it's just non stop squeaking while, while in um, sped up mode. So that's why I'm doing this as an overdub recording. Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, that reminds me. Make sure you have F4 turned on, because that will uh, turn off and on those little square things around the target. So make sure you have that on, because that will be extremely helpful for, uh, for you docking. I used to not have F4 turned on, and I dug visually. It's manageable, but it's really hard. Yeah, basically all I'm doing is coming up, speeding up on my orbit. This means that I've got a lower periapsis and I can decelerate faster on my orbit. So yeah, my time is almost done. I'm gonna hand it over to me. Well, old me. Well, you know. Okay, so um, if you can see in my navfall, it's in target mode, which means that retrograde slows down my relative velocity. Relative velocity is basically. Um, Object A is going one way at 30 meters per second. Object B is going another way at 40 meters per second. To get to relative velocity, you need um, either object A or object B needs to accelerate or decelerate to the same to the same speed. So here we go. Um, that's kind of the big secret of docking, by the way. Relative velocity. Try and get it down below 20, and we can accelerate inwards with the target with the target. The um, finder target circle on that. So there we go. My time's almost up. So yeah, watch next bit. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, we'll be doing this host in the dark side of the planet, which is a little frustrating, but it'll be all right. Uh, hopefully, when you try docking, you get a perfect uh, maneuver that's not on the dark side, which can get exceedingly annoying. So here we go, pulling on in. You can start to see it a little bit right there. Uh, okay, okay. Target, come on. 
Come on, now let's see. So there's my dad in the background. Um, so here we go. Start firing our way in. And point retrograde again. This time, hopefully, we'll, we'll try not to overshoot. Alright. Here we go. Coming on in. This is what the Poodle engine is amazing for. You know, as a little, um, to, sh to uh, show a little thing, why don't I try and dock this? The large clampatron up there. Set that as target. And then control from the senior docking port. So then we're gonna point towards target, which is one of the keys to docking. Well, th that's it's one of the things that make dock that makes docking easier. So now that I'm controlling from the senior docking port, all my um all my controls are not from there. So here are the controls. You know, you're I'm sure you know. Ho hopefully you know the was. Keys which control your pitch, yeah, and roll. Well, and then there's Q and E, which are roll. But then here, um, for docking, I, J, K, and L are extremely useful. So here's my advice. Um, use your SAS. I mean, hopefully you've got SAS. If not, it would be a little hard. But use what SAS, whatever SAS capability you have, to point yourself at a target. And then just fire your on your and just line it up with your I J K and L keys. So I overshot a little bit. I'm slowing down. Probably because I was talking. Um, still, I'm still new to this. Actually, really new to this. So I'm accelerating in at 0.5 meters per second. Here you go. It's extremely fast, honestly, for docking. Um, the space shuttle docked at 0.2 meters per second, uh, 0.2 feet per second, sorry, and 0.5 meters per second. That's about, let's see, this could be about, I'd say maybe about 1.5 feet. There we go, just pulling my way on in. And, yeah. So here we go, it's not a hard docking whatsoever. I was going to dock up there, like earlier said in the video, like I said earlier in the video, but you know this might be easier, and it's a good way of showing. Um, oh, ooh, okay, okay, don't overshoot, don't overshoot. Yeah, come on in, come on in, come on. Oh, okay, come on. Let's see, come on, yeah, just settle on in there, right, right there. Yeah, feel free to make yourself at home. Yeah, come on, come on, get on in. No, 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 don't, don't be bad. Here we go, just coming in on in. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. That's not good. That's not good, that's not good, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Let's rotate around into the sun. 